Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. We're playing level 285. It's a hard level. In 50 moves, we have to obtain 65,000 points to get one star. Don't worry about the points. We'll get the points because we also have to clear the board of all of these jelly. Including the jelly that's hiding under frosting, which I don't think is around here, but oh, look down here in these little isolated pockets. So, going to be tricky, but we've got some friends to help us. We've got these little fish. Hi, fishies. They're going to try to play cleanup for us, which is good because we're going to have a hard time getting to them anyway. What we hope to do is to break out as many of the jelly that we can get to as quickly as possible and then use the fish to hunt down the jelly that we can't reach. Now, normally I would say you want to make the most impact with every move, so you take the spoon and you move it down. It takes out three jelly and it hits this frosting but these frosting are real hard to get to. We're going to sacrifice that and work on this when we have the opportunity. These will kind of take care of themselves as we make moves down here and there's cascading and things like that. So we're going to work up here when we can. When we cannot, then we'll work down lower and try to get the frosting. All right, let's see. No moves up here. I'll take this. I can hit this once. It's a real slow, painful process watching you know where we can make the most impact here. But sometimes if you're you know having trouble with a level, um, it may just be that you're so tired of playing it that you rush through it. And maybe playing it once slowly will help you to not have to play it through week after week quickly. Also, I always recommend if you're having tough time with a level, especially when it's listed as a hard level, so you know it's going to give, be giving people problems, uh, use your boosters. If you don't know how to get new boosters every eight hours, then um, put in the comment section that you'd like to see my sugar drop tutorial. And I'll teach you how to get sugar drops every eight hours if you want. That'll lead to boosters. All right, so looking for opportunities to work up here. Here we go. When we can't work up here, looking for opportunities to uh, try to make some impact down here. Making specials is good. Now some of these we'll be able to reach, especially the center one. We might be able to reach with some striped candies. If we could work down here and get a striped candy and a wrapped candy together, that would be wonderful. So if you can start out on the board with a striped and a wrapped candy, like I said, by using boosters, I would go for it. Some people think that using boosters is cheating. I think that it's using one of the tools in your tool belt. I think people who think it's cheating probably try to remove nails with their bare hands, take out screws without any implement, why would you? It's pointless. All right, so now we're down to 21 moves, so less than half of our original. It's getting a little bit tricky because we still have a lot of work to do. See, these fish aren't even freed yet. It's kind of okay. This one's going to be free. Oh, and it's actually going to detonate. There we go. Yay, it hit one of these down below. But it's kind of okay that we don't have them all free because, like I said, they really need to play cleanup for us in those areas we can't reach. All right, I would rather move this over here instead of over here. Let's make this special and then make this special. I want to move that down lower. I wonder if I can. I'm going to do a few things here. Oh, bye fishy. Hi fishy. There you go. I'm going to detonate this. I was so hoping that I'd get another green down here so I could move that. All right, well, do you know what? I'm still going to do it anyway because I need to make some moves. I've only got 13 moves left. Let me play up here while I can first. Free that little fishy. They're so helpful. Um, and then I'm going to detonate this to clear out some of this jelly. This frosting. All right. Yay, so now we're getting that fish free. We'll still have to detonate him. Here he goes. 
So he should be playing cleanup for us. Now we can see we only have one jelly left and it's in the center. Again, if you're having trouble and this is a hard level, I'd hit it with a lolly hammer if I were in danger of not being able to finish the level. It just makes sense. It's like, why would you pass up a move that's an excellent move? That's just poor strategy, I think. As a matter of fact, if I can't make it, I think that's what I will do, is go ahead and use a lolly hammer and take care of that. Okay, so... I can play this a few more times and get it, or I can do that. That's what I'm going to choose to do. If you're still stuck and you have specific questions, ask me those in the comments. If this was at all helpful to you, please hit like. And of course, if you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. Thanks.